Hi, this is Daniel again, and today we're testing the accelerometer from Vex Robotics. Uh, we've already got this set up here, and uh, it is a very sensitive sensor. Uh, just the slightest movement could cause it to be off, but I've actually managed to uh, get this to give me a, uh, a reading on the z-axis of 1G. And so that means that right now this sensor is completely perpendicular to uh, the z-axis which would be you know the, the direction uh, from the center of the earth. We've already had this running in the debugger over here and if you can look over here we have values for our x, y, and z-axis and this gives a reading in uh, measurements of g's and so you can see the g measurement of the z-axis right now is exactly one while the y-axis and x-axis are at zero. So if you take the, the norm of this, the orthonorm, that would equal uh, one. So it's a magnitude of one in the z-direction. I'm going to just tilt this in one direction. I'll, uh, this is the y-direction, so I'm going to tilt it in the y-direction. And I'm going to put this a little bit closer so you can see it. So. Keep in mind that uh, this is the y-axis variable, so if we can try to get this simultaneously going, I'll show you how sensitive it is. So just with the mere touch, let me put this to be continuous. With the mere touch, it has already changed. Look how, look how the values change. I'm just barely pressing this down, and I'm going to give it a more dramatic change. So if I go forward in this direction, look how all the values change. And then if I tilt this in the x direction, we also get a change. The reason why the x-axis and y-axis are both changing is because when I do this, this is not exactly perpendicular to the x-axis. I'm sorry, parallel to the x-axis. So we get a slight change in both directions. Uh, so that's pretty much it. I can try to get this back to as close as one as possible, but uh, let me see if I can do this. So it's a very sensitive sensor, and it took me a little while to get to here, but uh, let me see. So I have eight, three, and then if I tilt this in the y direction. Okay, we have negative one, negative one, and seven. Yeah, it's no hope. <laughs> so it did take me a while to get that reading, but uh, just showing you how, how the accelerometer works.